Dear learners, I am Trisha Dora Borwa from the Bhupan Hazrika School of Mass Communication, Krishna Kanta Handy State Open University. And I would like to once again welcome you all to another discussion on a different area of mass communication journalism, that is news values. This particular topic is covered under Unit 7 from the second semester paper, Journalism. Now, moving on, what exactly are news values? News values are basically different characteristics of news. Okay, to put it very simply, they are different characteristics and uh, each and every news have some kind of values in them or in fact they are actually the qualities by which events qualify as news. Okay, and news values it, and they actually determine how much a prominence a particular news story is given by media outlet and the attention it is given by the audience. And let us try to focus on the different characteristics. The first and the most important characteristic of news is timeliness. Now from the term itself you can make out, you know, you know, as far as timeliness is concerned, usually most of the news stories that you see in different print and different media outlets, be in print media, be in electronic media, be in different online media, it has to be new, recent or on time. Usually you hardly will find old news that are being broadcast or that are being printed in different media outlets, except in certain uh, exceptional cases. And timeliness, we can define it by the publication cycle of different news medium in which the information will appear. So the concept of timeliness is different for different newspapers or for different uh, periodicity of the news magazine or newspaper or a broadcast media is concerned. Now, for a weekly news magazine, the events that has happened during the previous week are timely because that is a weekly news magazine. That magazine comes out only once a week. So, when it comes out once a week, only they will cover those news stories or those events that has happened only the previous week itself. Right? So that is a, as far as a weekly news magazine is concerned, this is how the timeliness concept is defined here. But for daily newspaper, the events that has happened during the first 24 hours in the last edition of the paper are said to be timely. So the concept of timeliness is different in case of a daily newspaper because they try to cover those news stories that have had taken place during the last 24 hours. And as far as broadcast media is concerned, events that has happened during the past few hours after the last half hour are actually timely. Okay, so maybe maybe for the past, you know, for instance, uh, there's a there's a news program which is going to take place at seven o'clock in the evening. So they'll try to take up those news stories maybe for the last, you know, three four hours ago that might have happened. They'll try to cover those news stories along with that. Up to the last half hour, they are said to be timely. Okay, it's not that completely they try to broadcast news that are like you know that have taken place almost like twenty four hours back. It's not that because broadcast media is very fast, unlike you know daily newspaper. The broadcast is it's it's kind of digital media, right? So every passing time and every you know moment, every second, news are being coming up. So they keep on updating news every second, every minute. So for broadcast media, that is what the timeliness concept is all about. Another important characteristic, or another important. Uh, news value that we can talk about is importance. Significant events that hold importance for the masses must be considered as news. Any important event, you know, it may be like, you know, for instance, someone has presented a budget in the parliament or maybe, you know, uh, there's a dignitary coming from outside the country is addressing the nation or maybe there, there, there's some kind of government project that needs to be focused in the mainstream media. Okay. So such kind of import, such kind of news, if they are being broadcast, if they are being, uh, you know, focused more, then of course they will generate more interest from the readers itself. You know, uh, so this is another important quality, another important uh, news value because the more important news you focus on, the better it is for the particular news organization, the better it is for the society as a whole. Another important characteristic on the important news values that we talk about is conflicts. 
no we, we live in a society so we are very much used to seeing different kinds of conflicts taking place in society when a society comprises multiple ideologies there are multiple groups multiple organs uh, there are innumerable ethnic communities there are multiple languages and all, so and so forth so definitely conflicts are bound to take place isn't it we can't avoid them we can't stay away from them so such kind of conflicts are you know uh, when they are being reported in different you know media outlets or when they are reported in different uh, media uh, through the different media uh, organizations they are widely covered and uh, you know they have they have some kind of newsworthy value to it because you know something which generates interest something which uh, you know brings you know uh, brings a mindset of a kind of uh, arouses the mindset of the general public you know that can actually you know lead to a fruitful negotiation okay so conflicts are important for more news values then another important characteristic of news value or another important news value which we have is a proximity now the you know you when the more news you focus that is that might have taken place some in nearby locality for instance uh, the people living in assam okay so they will be more used so they will get more excited they will be more like uh, drawn towards those news that have you know emanated from their own homeland maybe somewhere uh, in upper assam some kind of accident has taken place maybe some somewhere lower some some kind of you know inauguration has taken place or maybe some kind of, in middle assam there is some kind of big conference has taken place so if those incidents have been focused because those are focused and those incidents have on those uh, news have taken place within the same proximity within the same you know some uh, within the same limited aerial distance of where, where the particular news has taken place so when such kind of news events have been focused then you know it tries to it has a immediate effect on the people's minds people are drawn towards such kind of news stories because uh, as relevance or um, some when focus is given local news it's very much interesting for the masses irrespective of whether they whichever place they are look staying at the moment another important character so another important news value is prominence the prominent person prominent events and prominent places always make news okay it's not always that you know you you try to uh, talk about maybe you know something political news you always talk about economic news it's not only that when you try to focus some events like showing the uh, highlighting that someone has imp some prominent person has come to inaugurate something some so and so forth or maybe some important event has taken place at the government level so those are news of prominence and they always such kind of prominent news stories always makes news another important news value is the impact or consequence look the kind of impact the event is going to have on the minds of the people is also another characteristic of news an event that actually causes or is capable of causing a great sequence of events affecting many persons obviously news worthy okay suppose uh, some kind of event is taking place and that event is bound to create some kind of impact in the society or there is bound to have some kind of consequence in the society you know and that has far reaching uh, you know or maybe that has far reaching impact on the lives of the people and also that has far reaching consequences of you know generating a kind of debate a kind of discussion in the society so something a news having some kind of impact or consequence is said to be very always make good news then we have another important news value which is progress the information relating to a country's development and prosperity always makes news it's it's very obvious you know when you talk about something some developmental news when you talk about something which is related to the you know advancement of the society when there is a focus on something which might uh, indirectly indirectly lead to you know uh, a kind of healthy atmosphere in creating a healthy atmosphere in society you know so such kind of information actually makes news because every society has problems and issues that needs to be highlighted by the media and such information is always news worthy then we come to disaster disaster is another important news value any kind of disaster makes news okay 
Now, if you see, usually, you know, suppose uh, a massive earthquake has taken place in some part of the country, or maybe in some part of the world. So, of course, that particular news story will gather the most eyeballs than any other news stories, right? So, that news stories will be focused on the front page of a newspaper as well as it will be a front page headline of any uh, broadcast media organization. So, such incidents occur and, uh, you know, it kind of stirs the emotions of the larger segments of the society. Because, you know, when we try to cover the disaster related news stories, it has a kind of deep impact on the minds of the people because people are able to relate to the particular disaster. People are able to identify how that particular incident has taken place, what did take place and who were involved in that particular incident. So there is a kind of a sentiment involved. There is a kind of uh, emotion involved in that particular news story. Okay. Uh, then we have another important uh, characteristic of news story. Um, other words, because important news value, this is human interest. So usually uh, when we talk about human interest, uh, this aspect is mostly covered in soft news stories. Because of course there are a plethora of news that have been given, that have been thrown to us. We have hard news stories, we have soft news stories, we have uh, from soft news stories we can like subdivide into you know anchor news stories, we have feature stories, okay. Then of course we have the editorial part. So the different areas, different stories have been given to us. But not all stories can actually you know generate interest in the minds of the people. There has to be some kind of newsworthiness to it. There has to be some kind of you know value to it. And human interest is one of those values. And uh, such stories, it arouses some emotions in the audience. Stories that are motivating, uplifting or ironic. They may be bizarre also, they may be dramatic also. So, you know, such items that concerns ordinary people who find themselves in circumstances with which the audience can actually identify with them. Another important uh, news value which we can talk about is currency. Currency is basically talks about the current event that has, that has been taking place presently it's all about current events uh, you know current events will have the limelight rather than those news which might have taken place sometime back because you know we are always on the move as laymen or as uh, common masses so we need those news stories we need to uh, kind of uh, check out those news stories which might be of relevance to the present society we don't want any such theories which might have taken place about like two three months back right we only want those news stories which might have taken place maybe you know 24 hours back or maybe just at the most like one day ago we don't we are not interested in something which is very stale which is very old news okay which is want something which is presently happening which might have some importance to society which might have you know human interest angle to it or uh, which might have some prominence to it and which might have some impact to that particular story then uh, we have novelty which is another important news value now novelty basically talks about you know something that is very new something which is very unusual kind of story okay something which is very unique in nature so those make up a good news stories okay so for instance uh, like as example i'm just citing here suppose uh, there is an expedition going on just below the you know water level below the sea in some some uh, in some part of the country so and in that expedition they have tried to unearth you know some kind of you know relics maybe some kind something that has taken place a long time back they have tried to you know excavate take out dig out those you know uh, things from uh, just under the water so that that kind of, that kind of news story it falls on novelty because it tries to focus something which is very new which is very unique something which has never taken place because usually when we go for excavation when we go for you know uh, digging out materials as part of anthropology you know usually we go to different places we go to valleys we go to hills but usually we don't go underwater to check out for such kind of relics so when such kind of expedition comes to the forefront when such kind of news is being uh, put in front of the general common public and that falls on the novelty. It falls on something which is very unique, something which is very new, or which is very unusual. Okay. Then uh, let us understand usefulness. 
A usefulness is also another important uh, quality of a good news story. Right? It's another important news values. So a good news story uh, should cater to those news stories which actually help the public in different ways, maybe directly or indirectly. Suppose someone is covering a news event which is related to some development purposes. So a person who tries to understand the development, some maybe some you know, uh, project is being undertaken by the government and they are trying giving incentives to the farmers for the particular project. So maybe that project will be useful or helpful to the farmer in some way or the other. Okay? So such kind of news stories are more interested because such kind of interest has a better impact on the minds of the individual because some way or the other such kind of news stories it might be useful in the long run because it might lead to the development of the society in the long run okay so another example i'm just i'm just citing here that maybe you might have noticed that during some uh, very bad weather conditions and all you know usually the government or the weather forecasters they try to warn the you know uh, fishermen from venturing out into the sea okay they uh, try to give out phone numbers to those uh, you know fishermen they try to tries to broadcast the phone numbers or maybe try to publicize the phone numbers that if any such uh, calamity takes place please contact those numbers so such kind of information it's a kind of you know kind of uh, 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 a small kind of news item but it is very useful in the sense that uh, it it may or may not in a way you know help the fishermen you know to save their own lives so such kind of information such kind of news stories have more news values than those stories which do not focus on such kind of quality then last but not the least you have the most important news value that is the education value that of course uh, you know news is not only something that has you know is meant to you know entertain the masses it's not only really meant to, uh, you know, kind of uh, create a kind of, you know, sense of, uh, you know, understanding of a particular problem or maybe to uh, give a brief overview of what the events might have taken place, not only that, but it has certain education value to it. What exactly this value is all about? More specifically, when you, this is very much, you know, uh, seen in case of the print media. Because you know, uh, in print media, different. If you open a particular newspaper, if you just see on through the different pages of newspaper, you will see a plethora of information at your fingertips. You will find different columns about education and job opportunities. You will find different uh, editorials which have they have tried to focus on different news stories that might be of value to the society. So, such such kind of news stories in, in the long run uh, are very much you know helpful or beneficial to the general public so uh, today's discussion uh, like we have tried to talk about you know the different uh, characteristics of news in other words the different news values and why a lot of emphasis is given news values okay so the more emphasis is given news values uh, the better attention it will be or it will receive from the audience and uh, for more information or for more references, you can consult uh, the different books that have been provided in the back of this particular in your concern uh, self-study materials. And also you can check out the different uh, you know, websites and different e-resources that are widely available on the internet. So uh, today's uh, discussion was all about news values. And with this, uh, I would like to end up today's discussion. Thank you so much.